Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga Flow to rejuvenate your body. Let's start in a seated, comfortable position and you can grab a towel or a knee pad if needed. Today we'll be practicing to some fun and lively music to wake ourselves up. Let's start by rolling those shoulders forward and back. And remember taking that breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Our neck stretches over to one side and gently up and over to the other side. Remember this is your practice and do what feels good for you today. Let's roll the chin down as you exhale. Nice big inhale, lifting up. So we'll grab that knee pad or towel if you have it. Place it under your knees. Knees are hip width apart. Fingers are out. Hands are under your shoulders. And we'll go into our cat and cow. As you exhale, pull the belly up and in. As you inhale, open the chest. Breathing through the posture. Now you can stay there or if you'd like to tuck your toes under and go into downward dog, we'll start to walk it out, moving the hips, moving the knees, the spine, the shoulders. Press those heels down, pressing that chest towards your thighs, relaxing your neck. Hips are lifted. We rise up on the balls of the feet, slowly bring the body down into our plank. Now in the plank you can have your knees up or down, or you can go on your forearms. Let's bring those knees down and slowly chaturanga down, taking that breath in as we go into sphinx. Opening the chest reaching through the crown of the head. Nice breath in. And as you exhale, look to your left ankle, coming to the center, inhale. As you exhale, look to your right ankle. And back to the center. Pressing back into child's pose. Remember, if you have high blood pressure, you can always place your forehead on your fists or you can just let those hands come down and relax the forehead onto your mat and maybe move those hips back and forth. And we'll slowly come back onto all fours and we'll do a nice circle to the right for the full body, warming that body up, waking the body up and we'll circle to the left. Let's tuck those toes under, going back into that downward dog. Just walk it out, move through the body. This feels really good. Getting a nice stretch. We'll press those heels down, relaxing through the neck. Big breath in. Let's rise up to the balls of the feet. Come right down into that nice strong plank. Keeping that navel tucked in, slowly chaturanga down, elbows into the body. You can go into your sphinx here, stretching it out. Or you can go into your baby cobra, lengthening through the spine, out through the crown of the head, breathing deep, slowly coming down. And let's press back into another child's pose. Really breathe into your hips, into your lower back if you want to move those wrists around just to loosen them up. This practice is all about giving you a little extra boost. And when you're ready, we'll slowly tuck those toes under, feet about hip width apart, knees are soft. Just hang, maybe turning that head, yes and no. Releasing through the back. Ragdoll if you like, holding those elbows, swinging back and forth, nice and easy.
coming back to the center, bend those knees, take a big breath up as we slowly rise up. Inhale, arms up and down to your heart. Relaxing your arms at your sides and getting ready for Tadasana. Feet are under those hips, toes are wide, feeling grounded, feeling that strength through the body, hips underneath you, shoulder blades down and back, arms are relaxed, long through the neck, out through the crown, breathing in deep through the nose and slowly out through the nose. Just taking this moment for you. Big breath in and let's stretch from one side to the other. Just move through the body, have some fun with this. Opening that rib cage, feeling good. And as you exhale, we're gonna sink down into our seated posture, making sure the knees are hip width apart. We'll twist to your left, elbows wide, come center, and exhale to the right. And come back to the center. Sinking down, releasing through the back, coming up halfway, hands on the shin, nice breath in, releasing down, breath all the way up, stretch through those fingertips, and down to your heart. Good, we'll bring those feet right together. Let's sink right back into that seated posture, making sure there's no pressure into the toes. And we're gonna turn our body to the left, having your gaze down until you feel comfortable there. If you feel like looking up past that left elbow, you can. Feel the strength into your body. Coming back to the center. We're gonna lift that left leg slightly. Now you can keep it there or stretch it behind you. Flexing the foot, going into a warrior three. A little bit of balancing here. And we place the foot down, hips are square, sinking into that right knee. Making sure that right knee and ankle are in line. And let's start to open the chest stretching those arms back one at a time. Working on some stability here, opening that body, that chest, relaxing through the arms, hands to your heart. We rise up and we sink into warrior one. So the back foot, the back heel is down now. Let's open the chest, round the back forward as you exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. Do that again and exhale. Hands to the heart. We'll rise up and let's sink into warrior two. So we're looking over that right hand. Thighs are open, hips are underneath you, shoulders are down. Feel the strength through the palms, pressing down. Hands to the heart, let's lift up, big circle down. We'll do this a few times with your breath. Pressing down, lifting up, and feel that strength. Going into our Peace Warrior, so stretching the right arm up, reaching through the rib cage. We're stretching that left arm back down towards the leg, towards that ankle, and back to Warrior Two. Rising up, bringing those feet forward, so your toes are forward. We're going to open that left leg. Press your hand on your left inner thigh, gently release the body down. So you get a nice inner thigh stretch here. Slowly rising, relaxing through the back. And we'll turn to that right front leg. If you need your knee pad, you can use that. The left knee comes down, we press back and just do a gentle reach towards that right foot. Feeling like you're reaching from the base of the spine out through the crown. Coming forward, we're gonna take that right leg, reach it right behind, hips are square, bend at the knee, and little pulses up. 
four more. Four, three, two, one. Taking that left hand back, you can hold there. If you feel comfortable, grab the foot and let's lift up a little higher. Feel that stretch. We'll slowly release. The leg comes all the way through, making sure that knee and ankle are in line. We push the body up gently, tuck the hips under, get a nice stretch in our psoas. Relax those arms. Now we're going to breathe forward over the thigh, lifting up, opening the chest. Exhale forward, lifting up. Letting go. Bringing that positive energy in. And last one. We'll lift that back knee there. Just rock a little bit. Bring that foot in. Uttanasana, just relaxing down. Neck is relaxed. Knees are bent slightly. And slowly rise all the way up. Big breath in and down to your heart. Good. So let's start again here with those feet under our hips, toes are wide, thinking of Tadasana, and just swing back and forth, nice and loose. Just let it go, have some fun with this. the center, focusing on your breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, we sink down into our seated posture, hands to the heart, elbows wide. As you exhale, we're going to turn to the right. Coming back to the center, inhale, exhale to the left. And back to the center, releasing down. We're going to come up halfway, a little higher this time, hands on the thighs, and release down, bend those knees, and slowly come all the way up, big breath in to your heart. Let's bring those feet and those legs right together. You want to squeeze them as we sink down into our seated posture. Remember, back towards those heels, you can lift those toes so we know that we're not crunching down onto the mat. On the exhale, let's turn to your right, left elbow on the thigh. You can look down if you'd like, or look up past your right elbow if you're comfortable with that. Strengthening a lot of muscles here, and gently come back to the center. We're going to transfer our weight onto that left leg, and if you want to stretch that right leg back, remember to flex through the heel so it's straight behind you. And then down we go. Hips are square, sinking into that left knee. Relaxing those arms, good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna windmill those arms back, opening that chest, breathing in. And relaxing here, bringing the hands to the heart. We rise up going into our warrior one. Making sure those hips are square. Left knee is in line with that left ankle. We open the chest, round the back as you exhale, and open lift. Exhale over that front thigh. Feel that body expanding and releasing. Hands to the heart. We rise up. And we'll go into our warrior two. So a nice strong gaze over that left hand. Breathing deep. Pressing those palms down, hands to the heart. Up we go, big circle and down. Really focus on the breath here and pressing down into the feet. Feeling grounded. You're lifting and feeling grounded. and press. That right arm comes down to the back of the leg and lift that left arm up, really stretching through the side body, 
staying low in that left knee back to the center toes turning forward we're going to take that right hand on your right inner thigh opening that thigh and just relaxing down so the left leg is straight the right knee is bent slowly we'll rise up and just release the body down you can even hold on to those ankles or onto your legs anywhere that feels comfortable making sure there's no tension in the neck we're going to turn towards that left leg we can grab that knee pad again if you'd like under your right knee and let's sit back left toes are right up in the air relax through the spine get a nice stretch slowly coming forward we're going to take that front leg reach it back hips are square hands are underneath you and let's pulse up 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 keeping that belly in now we'll reach back with that right arm you can hold it to the side or if you feel you can grab onto that foot let's lift a little higher And relax down good we bring that left foot right in front ankle and knee are in line gently we press up hips tucked under nice psoas stretch shoulders down and with our breath we go forward over the thigh lifting up opening that chest exhale down lifting up feel the release and lift one more nice let's stretch that back leg we can rock a little bit back and forth the foot comes in back to Uttanasana just turning your head right to left forward and back bending those knees and slowly rising up as you exhale hands to your heart now we're going to take a seat right down onto the mat we'll bring those soles of the feet together going into butterfly sitting tall and just have fun with this we're going to just rock back and forth great massage for our glutes open up those adductor muscles. Taking the hands behind, let's open that heart center as we look up, opening that chest, breathing in, pressing those legs down. Placing the feet flat, knees are bent. Spine is nice and tall and slowly let's lower down, get a nice back stretch here through the hips if you want to wrap those hands around your ankles you can remember no strain all your postures and stretches should feel amazing slowly rising up and just cross your legs into a comfortable position maybe roll those shoulders back a few times Taking that breath in and exhale to the heart. And we'll do one more and down. Let's take those hands down onto your knees. Make sure you're relaxed and you can close your eyes and just focus on your breath, feeling absolutely amazing for taking this time for you today. Breathing deep in through the nose, into the body, and out through the nose. Getting ready for the day ahead, feeling energized and positive. Feeling really proud of yourself for taking this time for you. I want to 
to thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you on the mat. Please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.